Today we're talking about ventilation for standing seam metal roof applications. Welcome back to the Standing Seam Metal Roofing Series on the Metal Roofing Channel. Um, Want to talk today about uh, ventilation. Certainly if this is your first video or if you've missed any, you can check back on any of our other videos that we've done for the Standing Seam Metal Roof Design Series. Otherwise, jump right in. Today we want to talk about ventilation uh, specific to Standing Seam Metal Roofing and really focused on, so you've got a metal roof, you've worked with your, your ventilation expert, and you wanna move this project forward, you know, there are a handful of different ways to focus on the ventilation and, and what would be appropriate or specific to a particular project. Um, so we wanna talk about that a little bit today. So there's two main ways to vent your roof system. Uh, they're all both going to involve a ridge vent, a vented ridge, um, but one involves an attic space and one involves a uh, vented roof sheathing. When you're venting an attic space, you're going to have a soffit panel that's going to bring cold air up into your attic space and it's going to release the hot air out through the vented ridge or hips. Your roof sheathing, uh, when that's vented, you're going to have usually some type of rigid ISO with a batten and then a nailable substrate on top of that that you're going to attach your metal roof to. You're still going to use a vented ridge system, and then you're going to have either uh, vented material behind the fascia of the roof system or behind the drip edge of the metal roof. So with those two kind of design criteria in mind, you know, we, what things else, what other things should we consider when you're looking at venting through the attic or venting through the sheathing? Well, you know, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you're using a good venting material. There's a lot of different products out there and there's a lot of different ways to install them. Um, there's venting product materials. I mean, the whole idea is to get the air into and out of the roof system. Uh, there's many ways to do that. Some work, some are absolutely not recommended. Uh, you know, one of the absolute not recommended ways is perforations or holes in your Z closures. It completely ruins your weathertight uh, capabilities and it's just, you don't know how much airflow you're trying to move or anything like that. So there are products on the market that are designed specifically for venting metal roofs or the eave systems of metal roofs if you're using a above sheathing ventilation system. They're usually layered in different layers so it has small holes so it's harder for water to drive up in there the ridge cap flashing usually covers the area where air enters and in certain areas that might have a lot of heavy snow, they have products with a what they call an enhanced snow screen on the front of those baffles to stop anything from driving up through there. Um, the venting material usually is gonna install directly on top of the Z closure. So you're not you're losing any of your watertight integrity through your Z closures. You're just adding a piece to the assembly. So you have your Z closure, you have an air dam, which is a little piece of metal that comes up. And if any water or moisture was to get through that, the lip on the metal catches it until it could evaporate. And then the venting material goes down and your cap goes on over top of it. Uh, how much venting material and how often you should use it is gonna be based on the calculations you've designed on how much air needs to move out of the attic per your requirements. If there's somebody that is has a roof system and they need to move more air, are there other options for additional ventilation, you know, let's say specific to the attic, uh, that wouldn't impact the integrity of the standing seam metal roofing system? Well, you can you can vent more of your ridge, you can vent your hips. When it comes to, you know, say mounting, you know, turbines and things like that, uh, we don't necessarily recommend them because now you're creating penetrations in your yeah. roof system. Um, you know, any penetration has the possibility of leaking. Uh, again, using the products that are designed for the bed, the ridges and the hips um, yeah. is going to probably be your best chance of minimizing any, you know, loss of watertight integrity into your roof system. 
So it sounds like if you have an attic ventilation situation, would you rather vent out of the gable side with a louver or something like that? Or would you, you know, recommend that versus a penetration? Yeah, I mean, when it comes to metal roofing, the less penetration is the better. And if you have the option of using a, you know, a, a louver on your wall or something like that to let air flow in, you know, it's absolutely possible as long as it meets your design criteria. Um, if you don't have that option, again, I go back to, you know, venting the ridges of the hips is going to be the most applicable way of uh, accomplishing what you're going for. Okay. So I, I think it's pretty safe to say that ventilation is really one of those things that's project specific. It's, it's not one of those uh, things that's one size fits all or a cookie cutter scenario. So. You know, when it comes to venting requirements per project, per design, obviously we can help support, you know, the details that are required for a successful standing seam metal roof installation. Um, but it is important to work with the ventilation experts, both on the product side and the design side. You know, we can certainly help guide to both. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the ventilation experts are just that. They're the experts. They're the ones that are going to, you know, help you determine how much airflow you need and the different options you have of accomplishing that. Um, it's important to remember when you're working with those people and you're designing with a metal roof with a certain manufacturer or, you know, you're going to be asking for a weather tight warranty. Um, you want to make sure what they are telling you is going to incorporate and be accepted into a weather tight warranty mm -hmm. system. So um, you're not designing something that is outside of the scope or won't be you know, able to be approved for a warranty. Yeah. Well, I think that about wraps it up. Stay tuned next week while we cover underlayments and, and design consideration for underlayments in your standing seam metal roofing systems. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet to the Metal Roofing channel, uh, please do and check out uh, future episodes as well as past episodes of the Standing Seam Metal Roof Design Series. Thank you.